The Monkey and Hunter experiment is one of the old classics that have a lot of wow factor for the audience. A hunter with a blowgun goes out in the woods to hunt for monkeys and sees one hanging in a tree at the same level as a hunter's head. The monkey, we suppose, releases its grip the instant the hunter fires his blowgun. Where should the hunter aim and when should he fire in order to hit the monkey? This can serve as a great introduction to gravity and projectile motion discussions. The idea is simple but hard to believe when seen. Because the force of gravity accelerates the dart and the monkey equally, they fall the same distance in the same time. The monkey falls from the tree branch and the dart falls from the same distance from the straight line path it would have taken in the absence of gravity. Therefore, the dart will always hit the monkey no matter the initial speed of the dart. In order for the dart to hit the monkey, the dart and monkey must intersect vertically directly under the monkey's starting position at some point above the ground. Remember, the monkey does not have any horizontal velocity. Mathematics is nice, but demonstrations always speak louder than numbers. In order to make the monkey fall at the instant the dart is fired, we need some type of mechanical trigger. The monkey, or the ball in this experiment, is held up by an electromagnet. This is connected to the projectile launcher base and to this switch. When this is pressed in, it breaks the electric current, shutting off the electromagnet, allowing the ball to fall. If you want the electromagnet to stay on, then use this plastic plate as a spacer to keep the ball hanging in the air. To help line up the projectile with the ball, the launcher has an open tube down the center, which is used to look through and sight in the target ball. To help you do this, a right angle mirror can be attached to the end of the launcher handle. Once the ball is lined up, remove the mirrors, pull the handle all the way back, and release. The Sergeant Welch Monkey and Hunter demonstration is a great way to introduce students to gravity and projectile motion, and is something every physics lab should have.